the African National Congress and the Democratic Alliance, South Africa's two largest political parties, are locked in an intense and critical conflict over the handling of undocumented foreigners and broader immigration policy. This conflict comes at a time when the country is grappling with escalating socio-economic challenges, increasing incidents of xenophobic violence and a mounting wave of populist rhetoric around foreign nationals in the country. South Africa, which is home to one of the largest immigrant populations on the African continent, faces significant political, economic and social pressures related to immigration, particularly the issue of undocumented foreigners. At the heart of the matter is the fundamental divergence in approach between the ANC and the DA regarding how to address the influx of migrants and undocumented individuals in the country. The ANC, as the ruling party, has historically adopted a stance that is rooted in the values of Pan-Africanism, a legacy stemming from South Africa's history of solidarity with other African nations during the apartheid era. The ANC government, under the leadership of President Cyril Ramaphosa, has been cautious about taking an overly hard-line stance on immigration, arguing that South Africa's immigration policy must balance humanitarian concerns with national security. However, the ANC is under immense pressure to act on public concerns about the impact of foreign nationals, particularly undocumented migrants, on issues such as unemployment, crime, and access to public services. Official figures suggest that there are approximately 3.6 million foreign nationals in South Africa, although some estimates, including those from organizations like the Institute for Security Studies, indicate that the number of undocumented migrants could be significantly higher, possibly exceeding 5 million. Many of these migrants come from neighboring countries such as Zimbabwe, Mozambique, and Lesotho, as well as further afield from countries like Nigeria, the Democratic Republic of Congo, and Somalia. On the other hand, the Democratic Alliance, led by John Steenhuisen, has been more vocal about the need for stricter enforcement of immigration laws and has accused the ANC government of failing to secure the country's borders. The DA has consistently raised concerns about the economic strain that undocumented migrants place on South Africa's already struggling public services. They argue that the failure to manage the influx of undocumented migrants is exacerbating unemployment, which stood at 32.9% in the first quarter of 2023, according to Statistics South Africa. In the DA's view, undocumented foreigners are not only contributing to job losses for South African citizens, but are also overburdening the healthcare system, the education system, and housing infrastructure. For instance, the Gawuteng Department of Health reported in 2022 that undocumented foreign nationals accounted for a significant portion of patients in public hospitals, with some estimates indicating that up to 15% of patients in certain hospitals were undocumented migrants. The DA has repeatedly called for the implementation of stricter immigration controls, including the deployment of additional border patrols and the introduction of harsher penalties for individuals found to be employing undocumented migrants. In July 2023, Steenhuisen criticized the ANC for what he termed weak and inconsistent immigration policies, which he argued had allowed foreign nationals to enter and remain in the country illegally. He also pointed to the surge in violent crime, citing the South African Police Service crime statistics for 2023, which showed that violent crimes, including murder, rape, and armed robbery, had increased by 4.7% from the previous year. While the link between crime and undocumented migrants remains contentious, with human rights organizations cautioning against scapegoating foreign nationals, the DA has nonetheless positioned itself as the party that will prioritize the security and economic well-being of South African citizens. The issue has also taken on a distinctly regional dimension, with provinces like Gawuteng and the Western Cape, which host large immigrant populations, becoming flashpoints in the debate. In Gawuteng, where both the ANC and DA compete for electoral dominance, the strain on public services is particularly acute. Johannesburg, 
the economic hub of the country, has seen a dramatic increase in the number of informal settlements, many of which house both South African citizens and undocumented foreigners. In 2022, the city of Johannesburg's Human Settlements Department revealed that the city had more than 180 informal settlements and a significant proportion of the residents were foreign nationals. The DA, which controls the Western Cape, has frequently pointed to its province as an example of what they claim is the failure of ANC governance on immigration. The DA-run city of Cape Town has called for the devolution of certain immigration powers to provincial governments, arguing that the national government, under ANC leadership, has proven incapable of managing the country's borders. This political battle between the ANC and the DA over immigration policy has also been influenced by external factors, particularly the economic and political instability in neighbouring Zimbabwe. In recent years, South Africa has witnessed a significant influx of Zimbabwean migrants, many of whom are fleeing economic collapse and political repression under the leadership of Emerson Manungugwa's ZANU-PF government. The expiration of the Zimbabwean exemption permit in June 2023 further fueled tensions, as an estimated 178,000 Zimbabweans faced the prospect of deportation. The ANC government, while initially signalling that it would not extend the permit, eventually offered a grace period for Zimbabwean nationals to regularise their stay, a move that was heavily criticised by the DA. Steen Huizen accused the ANC of flip-flopping on the issue and argued that the decision would lead to further illegal immigration, undermining South Africa's sovereignty. Moreover, the ANC and the DA's conflicting positions on immigration are playing out against the backdrop of rising xenophobic sentiment across the country. Since the early 2000s, South Africa has experienced periodic outbreaks of xenophobic violence, often directed at foreign nationals from other African countries. In 2019, violent attacks in Johannesburg and Pretoria resulted in the deaths of at least 12 people, while looting and destruction of property targeted businesses owned by foreign nationals. More recently, in March 2023, protests organized by the Operation Dujula Movement, a vigilante group that has gained prominence for its anti-immigrant rhetoric, led to violent confrontations in Soweto and Alexandra. Operation Dujula's message, which blames foreign nationals for crime, unemployment, and the collapse of public services, has found resonance among certain segments of the South African population, particularly in urban townships where competition for resources is fiercest. The ANC has condemned xenophobia, with President Ramaphosa stating in September 2023 that xenophobic violence has no place in our society, but critics argue that the government's failure to address the root causes of public frustration, unemployment, inequality, and poor service delivery has only fanned the flames of anti-foreigner sentiment. The DA has also been accused of adopting populist rhetoric on immigration, with some analysts suggesting that the party's calls for stricter immigration controls are designed to appeal to voters who are concerned about rising crime and unemployment. In a speech in June 2023, Steen Huizen promised that a DA-led government would secure South Africa's borders, deport undocumented migrants, and protect the jobs of South African workers. However, civil society organisations, including the South African Human Rights Commission and Amnesty International, have warned that the DA's approach risks inflaming xenophobic tensions and could lead to further violence against foreign nationals. In conclusion, the conflict between the ANC and the DA over the handling of undocumented foreigners and broader immigration issues is a critical and increasingly urgent issue in South Africa. Both parties are navigating a complex political landscape, balancing the need for national security, economic stability and humanitarian considerations in the face of rising public discontent. With unemployment at crisis levels, public services under strain and xenophobic violence on the rise, the stakes are high. The outcome of this political battle will have far-reaching implications not only for South Africa's foreign nationals but also for the future of the country's political and social landscape. 
The conflict between the two parties has become a flashpoint for deeper tensions in South African society, tensions that threaten to unravel the social fabric if not addressed through comprehensive, pragmatic, and humane immigration policies. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates.